。有足球比赛吗？这Oh my God! Look at the size of this stadium. It's bloody massive. This holds 50,000 people. Only about 20% smaller than the Emirates. So the infrastructure in China is really crazy when it comes to stadiums. If they ever held a World Cup, I think people would understand how big these stadiums are here. I mean, just look at the size of this one. And Chinese fans are really crazy about football. It's just a shame that there's just a minority of fans who like it. But yeah, have a look. Bloody hell! It's huge. The tickets for this game were also really cheap, with the cheapest ticket being eight dollars and the most expensive around fifty dollars. As we enter the ground, you can feel the atmosphere building. The fans were up for this one, and there were flags and tifos everywhere. And in China, it's really common before every game to sing the national anthem. Lead 
this Hunt game a few days ago, this team could have played Messi. Inter Miami was scheduled to come here, but they cancelled him as the government said there'll be too much destruction with crowd control. Luckily, they didn't come. Going a goal down so early on was a huge setback for the home side. However, Qingdao definitely had the 12th man behind them. With not many chances created, Qingdao had a free kick on the edge of the box to equalise. So just turned it into half time, still 1 0. 1 0 to Shanghai, and um, Chikang didn't have any shots on goal that whole half. Alright, let's go chat to the fans, see what they think. We can win? Chikang can win? Uh, I believe we can win. Well, what's the score? What's how many? Why? Zero. Okay, but we are there. Oh, okay. <laughs> do, you, do you think we can win? Yeah. Yeah. There was a sense of doubt creeping in amongst the fans, so I went to speak with the Qingdao Ultras. These fans go home and away, traveling hundreds of miles around China to watch their team. He said, no matter, no matter stay up and go down, we will support it forever. Nice, nice, nice. Loyal fans, I like it. Loyal fans. It doesn't matter where you go around the world, being kind to the referee is universal. Hi guys, second half is about to start. Tune out 1 0 down, got all to do. 45 minutes to either take it to extra time or penalties. Uh, let's see what happens. Could Qingdao reach the final? They started the second half strong and began to pile on the pressure. Across and Maguire has somehow not managed to put it in. Oh my god! Has he missed it? Five deals out. What's he done with the ball? I'm making this up. Taking off their main striker. You wouldn't really know any of these players that they have. Uh, let's see what they can do. The subs weren't going to make much of an impact as the game was about to go from bad to worse.
Anelka looking to get in here for Chelsea, but what's the decision with Abidal? It's red. He was lucky to escape it in the first half. He's gone now. Ah, oh, no, he's been sent off. Um, the player was the last man who just brought him down. So now, you know, down to 10 men with half an hour to go. With the players tiring, the chances of getting to the final were slowly slipping away. Was there time for one last chance? Push the back. Right, here we go. Got some time to smack up the pitch. Chinese football.